Here we have a 2011 BMW 320 diesel M Sport Saloon in black, starting with the offside front tyre. Tread wise, we've got a good 5 to 6 millimetres there, so plenty of tread on the offside front tyre. Offside front alloy does appear to be in nice condition. There is some little nicks here and there in the alloy, some light scratches, but no sign of any curbing or any scuff marks to the alloy. For its age, it is in nice condition. Um, you've got a small dent in the offside front arch there, it's around fingertip size. Also a light dink on the arch right there. Take a look down the offside of the bodywork. Um, looking for any other dinks or dents, definitely no signs of any dents. And I can't spot any other dinks in the offside of the bodywork. Mirror is in nice condition. Obviously being a black car it's going to show everything under the sun, but it does appear to be very clean. There is one or two light scratches on the driver's door, they just um, require a polish. Apart from that, like I said, it is a very clean uh, condition. Uh, one or two very minor nicks in the door edge. Both the sills are in good condition there. Looking at the rear passenger door, also very clean. Uh, not really any sign of any scratches. One or two little marks require some touchings on the door edge of the vehicle. Offside rear arch appears to be clean as well. Again, just one or two light scratches to require polish. Rear tyre, not a great deal amount of tread there. We are looking at around 2-3 to three millimetres. And the offside rear alloy does appear to be in very clean, no curbing or any scuff marks at all there, nice condition. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. You have rear parking sensors, there's a lot of light scratches on the back of the tailgate here, again just requires a good polish, you can see there is quite a few light scratches along here, none of them very deep so it shouldn't really be an issue. Uh, unfortunately we do have quite a heavy scuff here on the near side rear quarter as you can see it's took all the paintwork off there also some light scratches below it as well so definitely going to require some paintwork there as you can see take a look inside the boots nice clean condition as you can see and uh, obviously no sign of any spare wheel with the BMW um, apart from that the rear end looks well and um, looking at the near side rear tyre now the near side rear tyre is a brand spanking new tyre you can see it's still got all its markings on there so it is a brand spanking new tyre on the near side rear. Looking at the near side rear alloy, um, again very clean condition, no curbing or any scuff marks at all there. And looking on the near side of the vehicle, once again, uh, the bodywork does look very nice, uh, no signs of any dents, and again I can't spot any dinks either. Um, some scratches to the paintwork to require polish, as you can see all around the rear door here. I've just spotted a very small dink, sorry, um, just on the near side rear arch there, it's very light. Again, but it is there. Paintwork, again, some light scratches on both the doors, both the passenger doors. No chips on the door edge there. Some light scratches to the mirror. Front arch, again, we've got some scratches around the headlight, just require good polish. Front tyre, a good 5 to 6 mil as well. So the only tyre worth um, being uh, worried about is the offside rear, as that's around 2 to 3 millimetres. Um, the near side front alloy, however, very heavily curved, definitely going to require a refurb on the near side front alloy here. A very heavy chunk out of the alloy there, as you can see as well, so be aware of that. We've around the front, uh, there is quite a few stone chips, so definitely going to require some touchings. I think that's just a bit of tar on the, the front bumper there. Um, again, some stone chips to the bonnet just require some touchings. They're just age related marks. Uh, it appears that the toe and eye cover is missing. Also, you can see the plastics here on the rear bumper. Just appears to be a bit loose, so beware of that. But take a look on the interior of the vehicle. We do have full black leather interior. It is in nice condition. Uh, a little bit dirty, again, just requires a good valet. Back of the seat's nice and clean as well. But no signs of any damage at all to the leather, and it does appear to look very well. Take a look at the driver's seat and front passenger. As you can see, got nice M Sport seats. Bolsters look well. Slight bit of wearing, but again, that's just age related. No signs of any damage there. Front passenger seat also in a nice condition. Dashboard, etc., is nice and tidy. Steering wheel, as you can see, M Sport. Again, in nice clean condition. Take a look inside the vehicle. Now, we do have two sets of keys with the car, as you can see there. And just getting the car started. As you can see, there's a service light indicating there, so do be aware of that. And also a warning light there as well. Mileage, we're looking at 61,697, and no other symbols appearing on the dash there. Multifunction steering wheel, again, like I said, nice condition. You've got radio and CD. 
no problems at all with this sound, works fine. As you can see, um, the cover for the, um, the um, controller there has come off, so be aware of that. Again, nothing major. No problems at all with any of the blowers, and again, air conditioning's on as we speak, and it does come out nice and cold as well, so no issues with the aircon. Automatic transmission, take a quick look at the documents. Looking at the V5, the car's had three owners. It does come with an MOT certificate, which you can see here, September 9th, 2015. The MOT has just been done, that is with us here at Rybrook BMW Shrewsbury, so it's just literally been MOT'd, as you can see. And taking a look at the service history, now it is only partial history unfortunately, you've got a stamp here at Rybrook Shrewsbury at 18,000 miles, and then a service receipt at TMC Motor Centre, 41,000 miles was its last service, and uh, you can see that was done um, by the looks of things 2013, so 41,000 being its last service, so it does require service as we speak. There we have it, that's the 2009, uh, 2011 sorry, BMW 320 Diesel M Sport in black, the car of stage, not in bad condition, bit of cosmetic damage on the outside, nice conditioning inside, and uh, it's a nice looking car for its age.